Ever wanted your own pet dragon? Or imagine yourself riding a dragon like you're in a Game of Thrones? Too bad it can't be a reality, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy a reptile that looks like a dragon or is distinct and rare in its own right. From giant turtles that live longer than humans to reptiles that can have limbs torn off and just magically regrow one or reptiles that can change color or survive in water and on land, or use their tongues to smell. And we have to mention that some reptiles are dangerous, even poisonous. And unlike dragons, these reptiles are very much real. Here are 15 of the most unique exotic reptiles in the world. Red King Cobra this crimson beauty is so unbelievably rare that almost nothing is known as to why this king cobra is red. Crazy, right? Is it genetic? Maybe it's mystical. Who can say? The king cobra, one of the most venomous snakes on the planet, can literally stand up and look a full-grown person in the eye. When confronted, they can lift up to a third of its body off the ground and still move forward to attack. Although it prefers to escape, unless it's provoked. Despite its aggressive reputation, the king cobra is actually much more cautious than many smaller snakes. The cobra only attacks people when it's cornered in self-defense or to protect its eggs. Throughout its entire range from India to Indonesia, the king cobra causes fewer than five human deaths a year. Their venom is not the most potent among venomous snakes, but the amount of neurotoxin they can deliver in a single bite, up to two-tenths of a fluid ounce, is enough to kill 20 people, or even an elephant. King cobra venom affects the respiratory centers in the brain, causing respiratory arrest and cardiac failure. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. There's no end to the fascination surrounding these creatures. They've even made October 21st of every year World Reptile Day. Imagine seeing this ginormous turtle rolling through the streets with a security vehicle trailing behind it. This turtle was clearly a big deal. However, we can't be certain if it's real. It could also be a very convincing movie prop and route for a big wild animal picture or a dinosaur saga. Giant turtles, however, did exist. In 1972, a Harvard paleontologist discovered the remains of several massive prehistoric turtles in northern Venezuela, the largest known turtle species to have ever existed, an estimated 2,500 pounds. The giant turtle was 100 times heavier than its closest known turtle relatives. Its shell alone was up to 9 feet long, and they went extinct about 20 million years ago. There are many subspecies of giant tortoises that exist today. The giant tortoise is an iconic species from the Galapagos and is only found on these islands, but they're not quite this size. What would you do if you passed this on the road? And will you be celebrating World Reptile Day come October? Comment below using the hashtag SweetTopic. Madagascar Blind Snake the genes of a newfound serpent family suggest blind snakes lived on the island of Madagascar since before it was an island. Now considered part of Africa, Madagascar split from what's now India about 94 million years ago. Continental splits beginning around 155 million years ago fractured blind snakes' populations. For example, at one point, a landmass broke off of East Gondwana that incorporated both India and Madagascar. Around 94 million years ago, that landmass broke up and Madagascar drifted to its current position off the coast of East Africa while India eventually collided with Asia. Researchers now know that a population of ancient Gondwanan blind snakes eventually drifted on Madagascar to its present location. The discovery is helping to decide how these rarely seen and barely seeing, though not completely blind, snakes come to colonize much of the planet. Growing to about a foot long, Blind snakes act a lot like worms, burrowing under the surface of every continent except Antarctica. Unlike worms, blind snakes have backbones and tiny scales. And blind as a bat. We know, we know, bad joke. Rhodey Island Snake Neck Turtle the Rhodey Island snake-necked turtle, or commonly known as McCord's snake-necked turtle, are known for their strikingly long necks. Their necks are so long, in fact, that they cannot withdraw their heads directly back into their shell. Instead, they tuck their neck in sideways. The snake-necked turtles are a group of turtles distributed across Australia, New Guinea, the Indonesian Rhodey Island, and East Timor. This genus of turtles diverged from all other living organisms more than 70 million years ago, before the extinction of the dinosaurs. 
The first snake-necked turtles on Roti Island had been discovered in 1891 by Brit zoologist George Albert Bollinger. The major threat to this species is that it only occurs in three separate populations on Rhodey Island. It continues to be targeted for the pet trade following drastic population declines and continues to demand a high price. Captive breeding efforts exist for this species, providing hope for the future. However, improved control of the illegal trade and the creation of protected areas on Rhodey Island are crucial for the species' survival. <laughs> Pac-Man Frogs Pac-Man Frogs get their common name from the popular 80s arcade game of the same name. Their large, round bodies come equipped with a humorously large stomach and mouth that can envelope almost any food that crosses its path. It will attempt to eat anything that moves within striking distance of where it sits on the ground. Any kind of prey that walks by is fair game for this hungry frog. These frogs are also known to be cannibalistic and have been known to eat their mates even if they sometimes attempt to eat things larger than they are. Their teeth, as well as bony projections in the front of the jaw, can make it difficult for them to release prey after taking it in their mouth, in some cases leading to death by choking. They have a very sticky tongue which they can use to catch prey and pull it into their jaws. These funny fat frogs are found in the marshy jungles of South America, spanning from Ecuador to Argentina and Brazil. Pac-Man frogs have found their way from the jungle into the pet trade today. Pac-Man frogs make the perfect pet. <laughs> Green-Blooded Skink Not all blood is red. A group of skinks that live in New Guinea and the Solomon Islands have blood that is lime green. If you ever examine the innards of a green-blooded skink, you might take a second or even a third look. The muscles, bones, and even the tongues of these lizards have a bright lime green color, not from their diet but because of their copious amount of green bile that's in their blood. Surprisingly, these lizards remain healthy with levels of green bile that are 40 times higher than the lethal concentration in humans. Green blood likely emerged independently in various lizards which suggests that green blood may have an adaptive value. Slightly elevated levels of bile in other animals, including insects, fish, and frogs, have played potentially positive roles in these animals. Studies have shown that bile pigment can act as an antioxidant scavenging free radicals as well as preventing disease during in vitro fertilization. However, the function of green bile pigment in these lizards is still uncertain, but it's very cool to see. Armadillo Girdled Lizard Armadillo lizards are tiny, one-of-a-kind reptiles, the closest thing to a dragon you can get. This lizard is named after the armadillo because they curl up and bite their tails to protect themselves from predators. In this shape, they're protected by the thick, squarish scales along their back and the spines on their tail. This defensive mechanism allows them to spend most of their time basking in the South African sun. They inhabit rocky outcrops and mountain slopes, preferably on sandstone substrate. In the wild, armadillos are inactive lizards. These scaly spiked reptiles are very sociable, hardy, and easy to care for. This makes them a great pet lizard for beginners. However, any owner is lucky to have one as they are now illegal to export from South Africa. In captivity, it's commonly fed crickets. In the wild, its most common prey items are termites. In order to communicate with each other, these lizards use tail wagging, head bobbing, and tongue flicking. For example, tongue flicking is a warning sign for intruders to leave. <laughs> Mary River Turtle Isolated to a small, veiny waterway, the Mary River Turtle is a large freshwater turtle endemic to Queensland, Australia. Remarkably, this turtle was kept as a pet in Australia for more than 20 years before its formal description as a new species. This strange turtle was one of several species of turtles that breathe underwater using specialized glands in their reproductive organs. This allows individuals to remain submerged for up to 72 hours. One of the most distinctive features of this species is the extremely long tail in adult males, which can be as long as 70% of the shell length. This turtle is highly distinctive, both morphologically and evolutionarily. The only species in its genus, the Mary River Turtle, diverged from all other living species around 40 million years ago. 
This distinctive species of freshwater turtle was only described by scientists in 1994 from the Mary River in the hinterland of the Brisbane region. As a fully grown adult, it's the largest freshwater turtle, and it's intriguing how it escaped notice by turtle lovers for so long. Madagascar Leaf-Nosed Snake Madagascar has been called the eighth continent as a result of its large size, unique habitats, and high faunal and floral endemism, the state of a species being native to a single defined geographic location. As their name implies, leaf-nosed snakes have bizarre nasal appendages. Female leaf-nosed snakes have a more elaborate serrated nasal appendage, whereas males bear a longer, pointier one. These structures are present at birth, suggesting that they have some function beyond sexual signaling between rival males or potential mates. Often, these snakes are seen hanging from branches with their heads pointing towards the ground. Perhaps the structures serve to drain water off the snake. Several Malagasy plants, including some legumes and bignonias, have long pointed seed pods that hang down from the plant providing possible models that the snake may imitate with its posture and nasal appendage. No one knows for certain. Leaf-nosed snakes are generally calm and reluctant to bite unless provoked. A bite by the snake causes severe pain in humans, but is not deadly. But how often do people actually get to Madagascar anyway? <laughs> Legless lizards. If they don't have legs, how come they're not snakes? The answer, of course, lies in ancestry. Legless lizards are not snakes. Rather, functional limblessness has evolved independently, perhaps a dozen times in the squamate reptiles. Like lizards, snakes, and amphisbenids, or worm lizards, suggesting that the body plan offers many advantages. Indeed, limblessness is especially associated with a burrowing lifestyle. Many legless lizards spend their lives underground, these lizards are often distinguishable from snakes on the basis of one or more of the following characteristics. Possessing eyelids, possessing external ear openings, lack of broad belly scales, notched rather than forked tongue, having two more or less equal lungs, and or having a very long tail, while snakes have a long body and short tail. There are six species of legless lizards that occur in Europe. The only one of these to be found in the UK is the slow worm Anguius fragilis. This species can be found over the majority of mainland Europe and can grow to a foot long. That sounds funny, a foot long, legless lizard. He's got about an inch behind his eye, he's got a true ear opening. So this is a lizard, not a snake. Pig-nosed turtle. The pig-nosed turtle is the sole surviving member of its entire family and sits alone on a branch of the tree of life reaching back around 140 million years. That's more than 70 million years before the extinction of the dinosaurs. The pig-nosed turtle is unlike any other species of freshwater turtle. The feet are flippers, resembling those of marine turtles. The nose looks like that of a pig, having the nostrils at the end of a fleshy snout, hence the common name. The species can grow up to 50 pounds and 2 feet in length over the course of its 40-year lifespan. Little is known about their general behavior, but they're known for extreme aggression. They seem to display a degree of social structure during the cooler dry season around the hydrothermal vents that line some river systems they inhabit. This relic species is threatened by increased demand for individuals and eggs, for both food and the international pet trade. The increased commercial activity across its range in New Guinea is also bringing the species into closer contact with humans. And then there's the livestock, feral animals and agriculture. Pig-nosed turtles got mad problems. Secret Toadhead Agama The secret toad-headed Agama couldn't have a more fitting name. The Agama lizard species from mysterious desert ranges is named for its secretive lifestyle, eccentric look, and bizarre methods of communication. The secret is its bright red oral display frill. When frightened or surprised, it presents its frilly skin flaps alongside the mouth to make it appear larger and more fierce. It hisses and bares its teeth as well to give it that extra fright factor. The flaps are made of scales and on the inside is a bright pink color used as a warning. Another fascinating feature of the secret toad head Agama is its ability to burrow itself into the sand with a simple shimmy. It only takes a few seconds and then you'd never know it's there. 
Another unique behavior of the secretive toad-headed agama is when they're in territorial disputes with other males, seemingly rare according to their barren desert habitats. They display a unique tail motion that mimics a scorpion to show dominance. Chinese Softshell Turtles They got the name softshell because their shell lacks the horny scutes that most turtles have. The Chinese softshell turtles is smoother and more leathery. They inhabit rivers, creeks, lakes, rice paddies, ponds, and marshlands throughout southern China, northern Vietnam, Japan, Taiwan, and Thailand. As the name suggests, these strange-looking turtles lack the one characteristic almost all turtles share, a hard shell. This makes them more susceptible to attacks in the wild, but unlike their fellow turtles, soft shells can move quickly on land. Because they are vulnerable to predators due to their lack of a shell, soft shell turtles can be aggressive. It's not a good idea to house pairs of them together because they'll likely attack each other. They have sharp claws and strong jaws that can do some serious damage. Likewise, these turtles generally don't like being handled and aren't timid about attacking a person if they feel threatened. Millions are now farmed, especially in China, to support the food industry and it's the world's economically most important turtle. The Gharial Gharials are a type of Asian crocodile distinguished by their long, thin snouts. They generally only leave the water to bask in the sun or to nest. Gharials regulate their body temperature by basking in the sun to warm up or resting in shade or water to cool down. Male Gharials sport a large growth on their snout called a gara, the Hindi word for mud pot. Males use their garas to vocalize and blow bubbles during mating seasons. The wild gharial population has declined drastically since the 1930s and is limited to only 2% of its historical range today. Loss of habitat because of sand mining and conservation to agriculture, depletion of fish resources and detrimental fishing methods continue to threaten the population. The oldest known depictions of the Gharia are about 4,000 years old and were found in the Indus Valley. Hindus regarded as the vehicle of the river deity Ganga. Local people living near rivers attributed mystical and healing powers to the Gharia and used as ingredients of indigenous healing medicine. The Frilled Dragon Frilled lizards, or frillnecks, are members of the dragon family that live in the tropical and warm temperate forests and savanna woodlands of northern Australia. When the unique creature feels threatened, it rises on its hind legs, opens its yellow-colored mouth, unfurls the colorful pleated skin flap that encircles its head, and hisses. If an attacker is unintimidated by these antics, the lizard simply turns tail, mouth and frill open, and bolts, legs splaying left and right. It continues its deliberate run without stopping or looking back until it reaches the safety of a tree. It's very hilarious to watch. The neck frill is supported by long spines of cartilage which are connected to the jawbone. They are most frequently found in the humid climates such as the tropical savanna woodland. As an arboreal lizard, they prefer a place with plenty of tall trees and interlocking branches for easy movement. Generally, the dragon will only come down from the trees to hunt for food so even less of a chance of bumping into a real dragon, a frilled one. Cantor's Giant Softshell And last but certainly not least, Cantor's Giant Softshell Turtle is an extremely rare species in Cambodia that can grow to the size of a small sofa and live for more than a century. This strange looking turtle is also referred to as the frog-faced softshell due to its odd facial features. Odd, maybe, but adorable, definitely. The turtle spends 95% of its life buried and motionless, with only its eyes and mouth protruding from the sand. It surfaces only twice a day to take a breath, and they're an ambush predator and primarily carnivorous, feeding on crustaceans, mollusks, and fish, although some aquatic plants may also be eaten. The family to which these amazing turtles belong diverged from all other living creatures more than 140 million years ago, when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. So it's practically a living fossil, albeit a very soft one. The turtle was named after Theodore Edward Cantor, a famous Danish physician, zoologist, and botanist. Now, how can we get a turtle named after ourselves is the real question.
those were the 15 most exotic reptiles in the world. Thanks for watching.